Hello, and welcome to this ABB training video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a common PI loop on the ACH 550 series drive. Please be aware that this video will assume the following. Its viewers are trained in handling electricity and variable frequency drives in a safe manner, are familiar with ABB's precautions and warnings in the drive's user, hardware, and installation manuals, have an understanding of the purpose of PI loop controller and variable frequency drives, and are familiar with how to navigate the drive menu and change parameters. Please see the following address for the ACH 550 drive webpage and links to its relevant documentation, including info on wiring your particular feedback device into the drive's analog inputs. Please also see the comments section for this video, where you'll find links and information about the parameters covered. For this video, we'll have our analog feedback device wired into AI2 analog input on terminals X15 and X16. Here are the parameters which we will program into the drive. These parameters are responsible for configuring the drive's control location and assigning the speed reference function to the internal PI controller. These parameters are responsible for tuning the PI loop itself and will dictate how quickly the drive will accelerate and how responsive to changes the drive's output will be. These values are entered in a trial and error fashion and may need to be repeatedly adjusted to achieve the desired response from the drive's PI controller. These parameters are responsible for configuring the values that appear on the drive display. Please note that the start command for the drive will correspond to the value you have entered in your 1002 ext2 commands parameter. Now let's go ahead and enter all of the aforementioned parameter values. Now that the parameters have been programmed, let's test the PI loop. The first line on the display is monitoring our motor output frequency value. We can also monitor the PID set point value on the second line of the display and the PID feedback value on the third line. Observe that when the PID feedback signal drops below the internal set point, the drive's output increases. Conversely, when the PID feedback signal is greater than the internal set point, the drive's output decreases. Additionally, with a simple change of the 4010 parameter to keypad, we can set the drive's keypad to control the PID set point. Pressing the up and down arrow keys allows us to determine the PID set point value. You can observe the change in the set point on the second line and also in the upper right hand corner of the screen. This concludes our video on PI loop setup on the ACH 550 series drives. As always, if you need support with your ACH 550 series or any other ABB low voltage drives, please contact us at the following locations. Thank you and have a great day.